Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and to another video. If you're new here, I am Shaima and on my channel I talk about topics related to Germany as well as I teach German language and lately I have received some questions regarding the new immigration law in Germany which was passed on March the 1st and I thought why not make a video on that today. So before even starting with the new law order, I would like to mention that you might have heard that Germany has hit a scary demographic milestone in the year 2020-2021. This has led to the shortage of skilled workers and according to UN projections, the German population is likely to further decline by over 10 million people by the end of the 21st century. And we have already noticed that since 2020, the shape of the demographic graph started to represent the negative population growth. This means that there are more people above the age of 60 than in the younger generation. Here I have a, um, I have a diagram where we can see the German population in 2019. And here we can clearly see that the people under the age of 30 are far less than the people above 40 or even 50 and this leads to a big problem and this is also a contrast a strong contrast to other parts of the world such as big cities in Asia or even Africa therefore Germany wants to solve this problem with immigration law however if the immigration law even for even the immigration law fails to stop the problem, the Germans will have to work even longer or their pensions will be further reduced. In this diagram, we can clearly see that 2020 was the year where um, we can see a negative population growth. That means that the people above the age of 60 are far more than the younger generation and to overcome the over aging population it has been said that germany needs 400,000 immigrants a year so just imagine the intensity of getting new people in that is the reason why germany came up with a immigration law in march I have got a lot of questions from students who wanted to know what is this new law in Germany and they wanted to know if they have any advantages or disadvantages. So here I am talking about this topic and I will talk about advantages you might have as a student. But I will also discuss the new opportunities for qualified workers who are planning to come and work in Germany. Before even we break down to points, I must say that the new immigration law has some wonderful benefits as well as huge um, changes to the international uh, students because it allows them to come to Germany a lot easier and faster. The process of coming here for your studies has been changed a lot and it makes it easier to apply for a degree and even the visa process is lot easier it is a lot easier to apply and get a visa for your studies and the second point is the second point is assess to German job market before 2021 what German companies did was if you applied for a job and a person from an EU country applied for the same job as well as a German citizen the German company had to give the job to the German national or the one from the EU country before even considering your application. And this law, this priority law has actually changed now. So there is no more this priority list. So this priority list has expired now with this new immigration law. This means you have the same chance to get the job as a EU applicant or even a German applicant. Then the new government also wants that integration and language courses should be available to all immigrants from day one, just like daycare centers or even schools. And the SPD wants to abolish work, ban, uh, work bans and facilitate family reunifications. And it even wants to make it easier for the families to move together, which wasn't the case till now. 
Another change or a big change the new law has brought is that the law says those who are well integrated should also be able to stay in Germany permanently and they should also be able to apply for a citizenship more quickly. So far, generally applying for citizenship has been possible after eight years of legal stay in Germany. So you were allowed to apply for a, cit a German citizenship after you have been living in Germany for um, at least eight years legally. And now the new government wants to change that as well. That is everything I wanted to talk about with you in this video today. Hope uh, you liked it. Thank you for staying with me till the end. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and do not forget to share it with your family and friends who might be interested to come to Germany for their studies or even for work. And as already mentioned, I will have loads of content coming about studying and working in Germany on this channel in my Christmas holidays when I will be having a little more time for YouTube. So if you have any requests, please put them in the comment section down below. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss any of my videos. And thank you once again for watching. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.